The last remaining times table we have to do is the seven times table. Now, unfortunately, there aren't any easy tricks to help us remember the seven times table. But the good news is, because we've done all the other times tables, we actually don't need to learn the seven times table. Because if we need to do seven times three, which is the same as three times seven, we can just rely on the three times table, which we know really well. And if we want to do seven times eight, which is the same as eight times seven, we can rely on the eight times table, which we should know really, really well by now. The only last thing I want to say before we finish off all our work on the times tables is that the only way to ensure that they stay in your head is that you, if you keep practicing them. So make sure that you play those little games with dice or as you're walking along to or from school one day, you just go over some of them in your head that there's a constant practicing because that, in that way, those times tables will now stay forever with you.